Hello fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. Today I am here to de-kit my Hummingbird Square by Diamond Express. I have finished the kit so I am ready to start putting my drills away. I've got my spare storage boxes out here and I'm ready to get started. I'm going to kind of again go in reverse order here. That just makes more sense for me to try and put them away. So let's get started. And while I'm doing this, I will try to give you some information about the um, canvas. This is my first canvas from Diamond Express. Um, and I'm doing squares, not rounds. 3765. Let me find it again. Okay. Um, this is, like I said, my first kit from Diamond Express. Um, and I have to say, I really enjoyed it. Um, this is called Hummingbird Mosaic, and it is a, a pretty small canvas. It's only 20 by 20, which when I purchased it, I thought, oh gosh, I hope, you know, they tell you whatever it is and you subtract five centimeters. Um, and I thought, oh, if this is going to be a 15 by 15, it is going to be super small. However, it is actually a 20 by 20. It does measure 20 by 20. So that was good. Um, and when I purchased it, I thought, okay, even if um, it's small, because it's supposed to look kind of like a stained glass window, um, and I imagine from, from their picture, it was probably a needlepoint kit at some point. Um, but it's supposed to look like a stained glass window. So if it is a bit pixelated, hopefully that won't be a huge deal and it will still look okay. And I was, for the most part, right. Um, I will say this is a square again. And I will say that um, it is one of the better square kits that I've done. The There were a few drills here and there that were kind of hit and miss, um, but for the most part, they were good. I had plenty of drills to finish what I was doing, because as you can see, I've got extra drills left. Um, and they just went together really nicely. I was really pleased with how it turned out. So stick around for the end and I will show you what it looks like completed. Um, it was a 20 by 20. It is a full uh, drill canvas. So um, and 20 by 20, like I said, in square. It does have a, a color key on it and it didn't have like most kits, how they'll have like the numbers one, two, three for through whatever, um, however many numbers it has. It didn't have that. It simply had the symbol and the DMC number, which made it pretty nice and easy to do. This was one of my favorite colors in it, this kind of pinky color. It is a double-sided adhesive canvas. Um, which I'm fine with. Again, I have um, done double-sided adhesive and poured glue. And of course, while the poured glue is easier because you can kind of slide drills around if you don't get them in the exact right place, um, I don't mind the double-sided adhesive. This one um, had some wrinkles, some bubbles, whatever you call it, um, in the canvas when I unboxed it. So uh, I will put a card up here in the corner so that you can look at the unboxing and you can see when I was preparing the canvas what I'm talking about. But I just took my X-Acto knife and kind of cut it so that I could push the air out of it and it worked fine. I didn't have any issues at all with um, the canvas itself. I don't have any drills popping off. I didn't have any problems with them laying flat. So that was good. Um, I would label this an, a beginner kit. It's not very big. It wasn't difficult. If you've never done squares before and you're hesitant about squares, this might be a good kit 
to um, kind of ease your way into squares. As a 20 by 20, it's not very big, so it's not really intimidating. And like I said, I was really happy with the squares and how everything turned out. So um, that was good. Uh, I ordered this kit on the 10th and it arrived on the 1st. So it did take a little bit of time to get to me, but it's not terrible. Um, and it was $13.99 for the kit. So not hugely expensive maybe a little more expensive than some people want to pay, but I wanted to take a chance on it. And I missed a drill in there that doesn't want to come out. Um, I decided to go ahead and take a chance on it. I had never ordered from this company before. And as you know, part of what I want to do is introduce you guys to kind of new companies so that I'm taking the risk instead of you. So you can see kind of what you get for your money or not as the case may be. Um, so there is a shipping fee involved. I don't remember what that is. And I didn't write it down in my logbook. So, and I ordered two kits from this company. So that's probably, um, shipping was shared between two kits. That may be why I don't have it written down. It did come rolled around a foam tube, which I actually don't mind. I know some people don't like that. I didn't mind it. Um, I think because it was rolled around the tube, um, that's why it had some of the issues that it did with the wrinkles. So that's something to keep in mind. However, again, I ordered two kits at the same time and the other kit was a little bit larger. Not that that would be difficult. This one's only 20 by 20. Um, and so I think this one just got rolled really tightly. And so maybe in transit, it suffered a little bit because of that but it all worked out fine and it turned out good. So like I said, I'm really happy with it. Um, I, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this. I haven't done the other one yet, but it is on my to-do list. Um, and so I'm reserving judgment about the company until I try another kit, but, but based on this one, um, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And I, I would tentatively, depending on how the other kit goes for me, buy from them again. Um, and that's not something I can say about every company. Uh, if you wanna see a truly awful rendering, I'll try to remember to stick a card up there uh, for you to check out my Alphonse Mucha that I did for Summer with the Masters. And yeah, that canvas has been my biggest disappointment to date. I just, wow, it was bad in a lot of different ways. So make sure you check that video out. Um, so yeah, all in all, pretty happy with this kit. There was only like 20 colors, I think. So not a lot of drills left over, not a lot of de-kitting to do. Um, as you can see, I use my Harbor Freight containers for this. Uh, I actually really like these. I wasn't sure when I purchased them if I would like them or not, simply because the, um, let's see, and I need to move to my other box. So hang on just a minute. Let me move this box out of the way. and pull out my other storage box that has my other drills in it because I am now far enough down in numbers that I need this box. Um, that looks like it's got a couple of different shades in it. I wonder if this one will be a third shade. Um, what was I saying? Gosh, I don't know. That's what happens when you get old. You forget things while you're talking. Uh, oh, the Harbor Freight containers, that's what I was saying. I wasn't sure when I got them whether or not I would really like them because, I don't know if you could see it before, but like you can get drills trapped here in the, the lid. When there's not very many drills like this, you can just knock them down and it's not a big deal. Um, but, 
sometimes when you open it, your drills, when they're trapped like that, your drills will spill out either onto your canvas or into your tray or on your table or wherever they feel like going. So um, a slight annoyance in that respect. But other than that, I really like the wide mouth on them because the opening is so big, it makes it easy to kit up and kit down, which is nice. Um, and I'm actually really loving my removable stickers here that I made because those are coming off really nicely. So that's good. Um, so yeah, I've been a lot happier with these than I had anticipated. And I bought two containers of these, or two, two, yeah, two containers. They're 25 piece. They come with 24 little containers like this and then the one big container. Um, so I like them. However, when I bought them, the purpose of buying them was, well, to see how they worked because everyone was talking about them. But also at the time I was getting ready to do one of my, well, I was in the planning stages of doing one of my Josephine walls. And um, so my husband wanted me to get like five or six of them so I could be able to kit up all my Josephine walls. I'm actually glad I didn't do that because for the amount of colors you get in your Josephine wall, it seems like that would be a good solution. But having kitted up my 250 color Josephine wall, I actually prefer the um, smaller containers and I used a variety. I think I liked the bottle ones best just because those end up being the easiest ones to kind of open and sort through in my storage cases. But there is also um, just some of the colors, there are so few drills that having big containers like these to put like the number of drills that you just saw me transfer there, to have that many containers that only have that number of drills, I think is just kind of a waste of space. So I wouldn't do that. Um, so I'm glad I didn't end up getting the five or six of them that he was trying to talk me into at the time. Even though that had been my original intention and we had that's why we had gone there to look for the, the shop to get them. Um, and it's actually kind of funny to me that everyone is so in love with these because I don't know. I don't know if people like them so much because you can't get them. So that makes them, I don't know, more interesting somehow because Harbor Freight is a U.S. company and apparently, which seemed crazy to me, they won't ship these little containers to other countries. And I, I honestly don't know why that is. Um, I mean, they're really made to be little containers to hold like drill bits and screws and you know little pieces of hardware um in like your tool shop or whatnot so nuts bolts that's kind of that kind of thing um so but i mean they're just little plastic containers so i don't understand why they won't ship them elsewhere but i mean you know it's their company and do whatever they want maybe there's a reason for it maybe there's some some legal reason for it that I'm unaware of or something. I don't know. But anyway, um, so yeah, I, I'm really enjoying them. I, I still have my eye on some other storage options I want to try. I still want to kind of try, I want to try out those Star Roar um, modular ones. And I haven't used my Craftmates one, even though I have it, I haven't used it yet. And I wanna do that, but I'm kind of saving it for a, a kit where I have, it has 56 slots. So I'm kind of saving it for a kit that has enough colors to make it worth my while. Um, and I just haven't found that yet. So it's just kind of sitting there. Plus, as I'm doing all of this, I'm kind of waiting because I had another kind of big project that I was doing, which is another kit that I had purchased for my summer with the master's event. 
that is currently on hold because I'm waiting for some replacement drills. So I can't really do anything. And I'm actually a little frustrated with the whole thing because I, and that's all my spare drills put away. So let me put away the box while I get out the canvas. Um, I'm a little frustrated because I ordered some replacement drills. I contacted the company and they are sending me replacement drills, but it's gonna take a while. And so in the meantime, I wanted to order some more sparklers from a company I hadn't tried before. So I ordered some replacement drills from them. However, the color that I got from them does not match the color that's currently on the canvas that I had already started on. And while I'm not very far into it, I just have like a, a inch and a half strip done of it it's the main color of the canvas and I would have to pull a bunch of drills off, which I'm really not looking forward to doing. So I have put away the extras that I ordered. I'm gonna wait until the replacements from the company get here and cross my fingers that they are the same shade as the original ones that I got. So we'll see. So that's all my drills put away for this. Uh, I wanted to show you my trash. This is just the little bit of trash that I had. You can see here, I've got like a little piece that's kind of misshapen. I did have some drills that had like holes in them. I think you can see there, the top of that one has a hole in it. Um, so a few drills here and there that were not great, but overall not terrible. So I can add these to my trash if I can get them off the tray. Some of these trays, I swear, get so staticky. Okay, my trash is slowly getting more colorful. So there's that. And then let me show you the canvas. So here it is, it is quite small. Like I said, it is a 20 by 20. Ta-da! And like I said, I'm actually really pleased with this. Even though it is a smaller canvas, um, it is pretty. Uh, it's supposed to look kind of like a stained glass window, which it does. So even though it is pixelated because it is so small, I'm okay with that because it looks okay. I mean, it looks kind of mosaic, which is how a stained glass window would look. So I I'm okay with that. So, um, and I think the drills ended up being really nice. Um, you can see, you know, I've got a few gaps here and there. You can't avoid that with the square drills, but for the most part, they fit together really well. Um, and it just, the kit was really nice to work on. So, um, really happy with this, uh, especially for how small it was and how nice it turned out. So. I'm not gonna be framing this one. I am gonna be just putting it on my cardstock and putting it in my portfolio, but really happy with this turned out. So with how it turned out. That's all I have for you guys today. Uh, as always, before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, that helps me out a lot. And hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, thanks for watching.